Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, host Yan. I hope you lot are all doing well, staying safe, most importantly, staying at home, self-isolating, and all that good gear. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video, which is an interesting video. We're looking forward into better times, though I appreciate and I guess hope this current season or the halted Premier League season will conclude because it's probably the best and most right thing to do. In today's video, in this piece of content, I want to look forward to next campaign and I'm going to do something that I did before last season or this season whichever we're calling this season now. I want to look forward and guess, speculate how certain players are going to perform. Really, this is going to be sort of midfielders, kind of like attacking midfielders and forwards. I want to talk about certain players and what I think they'll get in terms of goals and assists. It's quite fun. Now, I'm going to be talking in just respect to the Premier League campaign, so not across all competitions. Uh, last time I did this, I was probably a little bit too liberal, so I'm going to keep it a little bit more tight but I'm looking forward to doing so and it's going to be an interesting and fun video. Before I start, I want to take a moment to let you guys know about something I've been doing. I've set up an NHS fundraiser to donate money to the NHS who are doing an absolutely amazing job at the moment looking after everyone in England throughout this health crisis. Now I wanted to do something to help out and use my platform for good and hopefully some of you watching also want to help out and do some good so I've created this fundraiser. Basically I want to give everyone who donates an opportunity to get a Chelsea shirt. I'm going to pick someone at random at the end of the campaign and I'm going to send them a Chelsea kit as a thank you but really this is not about getting the Chelsea kit it's about helping out I'm going to put a link to the fundraiser in the top of the description if you can donate anything that would be really really appreciated it can be as little as whatever you can do um, please do consider donating if you enjoy football therapy and you want to give something back to me forget about doing that give something back to the NHS please consider donating to the fundraiser and I thank you in advance for your kindness. All right, let's get into the content then. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be talking about attacking midfielders, wingers and strikers, really. So yeah, and actually I'm gonna assume for the purposes of this video that Willian, Giroud and Pedro are all gone. So Chelsea's front line's already kind of depleted to a degree. So I guess the players I'm going to be talking about in this video are Hakim Ziyech, which is an exciting one, Christian Pulisic, Callum hudson Adoy, Tammy Abraham. That's four young attackers we know are going to be at the club. Um, oh, all right, hold on. I mean, I guess Mason Mount, he's quite an attacking player in many ways. I'll put him in there. The thing is, uh, yeah, Chelsea are probably going to get some more attackers. Anyway, we'll get into it and we'll just see where I end up. <laughs> Let's start with Tammy Abraham now. Listen, right, okay, I want to... Add the caveat with, of this, but okay, split, reset. Let's start with Tammy Abraham. I genuinely think Chelsea are going to sign a striker in the summer, whether it's on loan or on a permanent. I do think there might be some legs in the Luka Jovic situation, but I think they're going to sign a striker, someone that maybe they might have starting. Now, Tammy Abraham's conversion rate, he scores a goal every, like, 0.56 or that's his goal contribution it's actually a good return and at the same time I guess I wouldn't be surprised if they stuck with Tammy Abraham but I do think they're going to give another striker a decent chance if he can finish off all these chances that Chelsea are sort of nearly creating around the box but I still think Tammy Abraham's going to get a chance and although I don't think he's going to rack up silly numbers next season I think we will soon play in the Premier League a decent amount and I think Tammy Abraham is going to get 13 goals and six assists. That's 19 Premier League goal involvements next season. That would be really, really positive, especially considering if there's another striker that's genuinely ch like chipping in and helping out in the Premier League. So that's what I'm going to go with Tammy Abraham. Who are we going to do next up? Who are we going to do next up? Let's go with Christian Pulisic, Captain America himself. We haven't seen the best of him yet. Well, we might have seen the best of him. We've seen how good he can be, is what I'm trying to say. But we haven't seen him in, like, in a long stint of good, positive form at Chelsea. He did look very good when he was fit and he came into the team after that original early spell where he was dropped for a bit. And he looks pretty good. Although I don't think he's going to be an absolute beast of a goal scorer next season. I think Chelsea and Frank Lampard are going to try and get him to run in behind quite a lot and offer something a bit different on that left flank in terms of, like I said, a different attacking dynamic. I think he's going to get a few assists, a few goals. Oh, I don't know if he's going to get more goals than Ziyech because he's going to be maybe less of a provider. 
but he's not necessarily going to be the superstar man. He's going to be a little bit more of a team player. I'm going to say Christian Pulisic next season is going to get seven Premier League goals and five assists. And considering there's going to be other rotational wingers, I'll be happy with that. Seven goals, five assists from Christian Pulisic, 12 Premier League goal involvements. Only because I think he's going to be rotated in and out. Right, let's talk about Callum hudson Adoy. Now, obviously, Frank Lampard does rate him very, very highly. He was adamant he wanted Callum to stay when he came into Chelsea Football Club as the Chelsea coach. Um, obviously, he got the new contract signed. Callum, you know, he's been in and out of injury. He started the season injured. Um, he's, you know, has since had recurring injuries, which has been very frustrating for Chelsea and Frank Lampard and Chelsea fans. Callum hudson Adoy remains a very talented footballer and although we've seen him score goals and assist goals throughout his whole youth career, he um, he's, hasn't done it massively as a, in the first team. Obviously he had a good Europa League campaign last season, getting a few goal involvements, scored a Premier League goal this halted season. Next season, if he's properly got his feet under the table, I think he might get six Premier League goals and I think he'll get seven assists. 13 goal involvements, Premier League goal involvements. They're all starting to spread out now. This is me thinking things are really going to start coming together in terms of the front line doing stuff. Uh, so what did I just say? Well, I can't remember. So I'm going to use post-production to not make myself look like an idiot and just carry on nodding and smiling and I'll have the numbers up on the screen you know. But between Pulisic and hudson Adoy, that's decent numbers they're contributing as wingers. Now, let's move on to Hakim Ziyech, the new superstar signing? I'd say superstar. Pretty elite signing. New boy, baller, Ziyech. Now, I think he is going to get a decent amount of goals, and I think he's going to get even more assists. I genuinely think this could be his chance to shine. He feels like he's got a lot to prove. He's said it himself, he feels like this is his big chance, the big stage in a team that's got a lot of possession and it's a very attacking team he knows that, he wants to capitalise off that he wants to demonstrate his ability on the biggest stage in the Premier League, I think Ziyech is going to do very well, how well? I think Ziyech is going to <laughs> I think he's going to score 9 goals yeah and I think he's going to get I think he's going to be the top assister. What? Yeah, I just see it happening. See it happening. I reckon, or maybe, I don't know if he's going to be the top assister, but let's say I think he's going to get 13 assists. I can just feel it. He's going to constantly be using that left foot, putting in wicked balls for all other players to score. 13 assists, 9 goals, 22 goal involvements. Thank you very much. So yeah, I don't think he, he might not hit double figures as, in terms of goals for Chelsea, but I think he's going to be an absolute weapon in terms of playing people in, playing those incisive balls. And I think he's going to be huge for Chelsea this coming season. I don't think he'll take a season to bed in because of his age. He's 27. I think he's going to drop right in and he's going to do the business. Akim Ziyech. Right, so it, Mason Mount, we'll just go with him next. Right, Mason Mount, now I've put him in, and you know what? I'm gonna put in Ruben off this cheek as well. Both of these players, obviously Mason Mount has played as the left wing and a number 10, but both of these players have looked really good in the left centre mid spot at the number eight. Um, Mason Mount is really important to Frank Lampard's team and how he wants to play, but Ruben off this cheek has been is rated incredibly highly within the Chelsea team and um, <laughs> I think provided he can be fit and back in the team the thing is at the beginning of the next campaign I think Mount is going to be preferred to over Loftus-Cheek for obvious reasons getting integrated into the team Loftus-Cheek needs to impose himself into that starting 11 the way Mason Mount does the way he presses the way he snatches balls off the opposition all this kind of stuff you can't really expect Loftus-Cheek to be dropped in to do it immediately although I rate him very highly I'm not sure you can but by the end of the season I think he could be starting every single game so for Mason Mount he got what's he got six Premier League goals this season and a few assists I think he might do something similar. I don't think he's going to get more because I think the minutes are going to be stretched out. I think he'll probably get six Premier League goals again throughout the whole campaign. And maybe six assists, 12 Premier League goal involvements from Mason Mount. That's pretty fair, I think. That's quite decent. And for Ruben Loftus-Cheek, I think... I'm not sure he's going to get loads of assists, but I think he'll get a few goals. I think if he does start and he does find his ability, I can see him scoring eight Premier League goals and getting... 
five, mm, five assists, let's be generous. Eight Premier League goals and five assists from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. So there you have it, they're the sort of most significant players going forward in terms of, in an attacking sense, that we know Chelsea have got for next season. Sure, they may still sign a striker, and sure, they may still sign another winger. Who knows, Boga might be floating around in there getting, you know, three or four Premier League goals. It could happen, you know, but in terms of the players that we know Chelsea have going into next season, I've named the most attacking ones, and to you, I've speculated what I think they might get in the Premier League in terms of offensive numbers. Now, I want to hear what you lot think of this. Let me know out of the players that I've said, what you think, what kind of numbers you think they will get in the Premier League. So how many goals and assists do you think Ruben Loftus-Cheek will get and why? Explain, do you think it'll take a while to come back still? All that kind of stuff. Do you think Tammy will get less, more goals next season? How well do you think Hakim Ziyech will do in the Premier League? Get down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on that. And if you've enjoyed the content, please do like the video because that helps me out a lot. Please, please, please do consider going to donate to my NHS fundraiser. That would mean a lot to me. Remember, if you do donate, leave your Twitter handle in the message of when you donate and to have a chance to win the Chelsea shirt. Um, follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, guys. You enjoy the football that's not happening at the moment and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chuck In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby